Hello guys and welcome to my channel Shell Arty. This is my first boot, boot review so I hope you guys watching it like it. <laughs> welcome to issue 49 of the Colour in Heaven Woodland Furry Special by Christine Caron. Christine is an artist and illustrator from Canada and she's created lots of beautiful designs and some of her work can be found on Amazon including her beautiful Benny Blue, the beautiful blue, blue bunny with them gorgeous doughy eyes that we've seen many people colouring, quite a few videos on YouTube with people colouring. She's such a wonderful uh, artist and illustrator and this book is, is just a, a beautiful example of her both line art and grayscale colouring that she's she's brought for us in this magazine it does have 10 of her exclusive new designs the front cover is typical again it's a matte finish where you can colour it in um, using your pencils and your pastels um, you do have to watch though with some markers because um, some of them bleed through onto the other side um, so so do do watch what you're doing with them um, a lot of Christine's work, she does have a YouTube channel as well where you can get, you can have a look at some of her work on there. Um, but again, Colour in Heaven hasn't failed with this issue. It's come again with its beautiful golden lettering at the top as well. And both front and back of the cover, you've got your gold lettering again. And again, the back page is also colourable if you want to do that. So then we'll just turn over. And again, you've got here your chart so for any color uh, color combos that you you created you can put in here and mark down what pencils you've used and also you've got um some of the social communities here that you can um have a look at and join if some of them are joinable and then there's just a little bit about christine karen and how she's ended up doing art so here we have our first page again this is quite a nature image really with these beautiful great big eyes so if you've got a lot of practice in you like doing your eyes and putting the colors in there then it'll be beautiful for that and again you've got all your natural um woodland theme within her uh great for doing your coloring of twigs and delicate works this is the exclusive one so the 10 generally be the first 10 pictures generally are the exclusive ones. Again, they are single-sided illustrations. So when you do colour, just make sure you put something in between, but it won't come on through to the next picture. And this one was still on the nature theme with your little birds sat on a shoulder and a hand. Some sat on a ear and then you've got your butterflies. I love colouring butterflies. And again, this is a different type of hair where you could probably try more doing your finer hair, more strokes rather than uh, blocking it out with colour and doing your light and shade. It's a beautiful illustration. And this one, still staying on nature's theme, but going into some of the insects with the spider's web. And the wolf, again, can get a lot of animal textures on this one. Your little chicks sat in the little antlers there. Again, it's quite it's quite um, like a little spiritual type of thing with the moons and the stars. So peaceful and relaxing. Again, still the nature's one. She must be, I wonder if she's doing some kind of like nature edition. Um, possibly, I don't know, but I absolutely love it. And you've got a little deer and a little baby one there. And your little rabbits out on your rocks. I just love how she's got different things so you can practice your skin tone your animal fur your hairs your translucent coloring you can practice all that with these this is just one of my favorites i absolutely love furries here again we're still on the nature side of it this is more of a nude kind of furry or nymph whichever she is because i don't see any wings but she's got her little pointy ears and again you can practice different ways of doing the hair there with whether you do it with your markers or whether you do it with pencil or pens this is the island's furry and she's on sat on a little boat but it's kind of like morphing out of the ground then you could do some under the water color in here 
and your sky give you some good background techniques in this one and then the old tree furry image eight beautiful woodwork you'd be able to do on this one absolutely love them here's the old wise furry like an elder elf really isn't she <laughs> Um, wonder what secrets she's got in that book but again this allows you to do more elderly skin that a lot of our illustrations you don't see a lot of elderly illustrations so that would be a really good one for practicing for creases and shadowing and getting it right and again there's feathers in her here so you'd be able to practice your feather work you could make some beautiful beautiful colorings this is the toadstool furry who doesn't like to colour a toadstool. Absolutely. You could make purple ones, green ones, red ones. They don't all have to be the same. You could even, these leaves are big enough as well to practice some nice water bubbles on them. And again, I love, I'm loving how she's done her eyes because you're able to work on the actual eye colour itself, which is, is good. You don't find it a lot where the big bulging eyes where you can actually work on the eyes. Here again, we've got now we're into the, um, the standard illustrations that you may find in some of our other colouring books that you can buy online. Um, and this one, she's kind of like, got like dreadlocks in her hair and her wings of a different type, more look like a snake skin, don't they? Um, and that's another nice one, some little bluebells, I think, up here in the corner. Oh, cherries and fruit. Again, this is the grayscale one. I'm absolutely loving grayscales at the moment. Not only that, but the grayscales help you with your shadowing. If you're, you're learning and you're just starting out with your skin tones, they're amazing because you can just literally follow the shading and it ends up making your skin tones beautiful. Here we've got another grayscale one. She looks more like of a royal furry here. She's the clover furry with all your lucky four-leaf clovers on. So you could get some nice popping different coloured greens in them. And again, these big beautiful eyes. So you do lots of colouring with that one. This one's a corn flower furry. You've got all your corn good floating around the back of her and at the top of her. Do little weeds around her head. Again, you could get some really good skin tones going here. Here again, another beautiful grayscale nature one, but what I love about this one is the backgrounds. You've got your little spots, and I, and I, I love creating unusual backgrounds, and that's certainly one that I'll be having a go at. Oh, you've got your magical furry queen here. And then again, you've got your glowing trident, is it? Kind of wooden trident that she's got here that you could practice all your glowing. She's got glowing eyes, little glow coming from off her ears. And there's the firefly furry. So again, you could do a lot of glowing colouring in your glowing backgrounds. Um, I know Colour with Claire has a few um, tutorials on her page, Colour with Claire. Um, she's got some good tutorials on there of... Um, some glowing backgrounds that you'd be able to use in this picture. This is your forest spirit, so she's more of a spirit furry rather than an actual living furry, which could make it look more ghostly. Quite liking this one. It'd be a bit of a challenge to do this one, I think, but can give it a good go. A full moon furry. Do you know what I love about moons like this? I love creating my own, like getting a realistic picture and really picking out all the, the little dark parts of the moon. And I love how you've got this sky turned into an owl here in the corner. Beautiful work. She does such beautiful work. Oh, and then you've got your nature one again. And you can do your darker skins on this one. And you've got your little squirrel sat on a shoulder eating a few berries beautiful little freckles on her face it's good for practicing freckle work actually because it's um 
one thing I want to start trying to do is learning how to get the freckles looking natural on the face. This one's the ivy fairy, so she's surrounding in all this beautiful ivy all around the outsides of the picture and intertwining round her fingers. Again, beautiful big eyes, beautiful big lips that you can really practice your lip techniques on there. And then we've got some line art now. The birdsong fairy, she's playing a little flute and you could practice some of your metallics on this one. And then getting your nice feather work, making your birds look realistic. Again, some more bluebell furry. Again, she's sat with her, her little robins or whatever bird you want to create them into. And again, it's good to have plaits. I love doing plaits. You can really work with and get them to really stand out. And then we've got the Carla Lily furry. Lilies are a beautiful flower, an absolutely beautiful flower. But the pollen stinks in them. <laughs> Get it on your clothes, it's an absolute nightmare. And got your daisy furry. And she's got the daisy chain around her fingers and she's picking the fig. Does he love me, does he not? Petals here. And you've got the dandelion furry. Again, blowing off, making her wishes. And these are good to do because you could do just a nice pastel background and really bring the forefront to life. Be interesting to see how people make these, how realistic they can make these look because they're such a delicate little flower. Again, you've got the, the dragonflies here sat on the thing and that's what more of a, her, it's like she's a furry cum dragonfly because her wings are not your typical furry wings and actually like that, it's something different. Forget me not furry. She's got all the little blue. F These are little bluey purpley flowers that forget me nots. So they're absolutely beautiful. I think they're an actual a weed. I think. Um, or you see them more in the weeded areas of places when you're walking around. And got the lily of the valley furry. Again, they've kind of made crown worky, and you've got the lovely little butterfly sat on on her fingers and then this twining all around the edge beautiful loving the eyelashes and you've got pine tree furry again just another kind of part naked illustration but i love how realistic she's got her eyebrows and her eyelashes and oh they're gonna absolutely looks so real when people are colouring these and you're seeing the videos appearing. The rowan tree furry. I can't say I know what a rowan tree is, I really don't, but kind of looks like a wild berry. Could be wrong. Again, you can do get some nice, it's all blank canvas for experimenting your colouring of lips and even makeup. You could even practice your eye shadows. <laughs> this one, the maple tree furry, she's just like a free spirited enjoying life. And with all the little natural branches round her. Beautiful. This one, the northern lights furry. How cool is this one going to be recreating the lovely turquoises and greens of the northern lights and purples and blues? That'll be a really good one to do. Again, you've got a little gem dangling down here. You could do your gem work. I'm absolutely in love with this magazine. The poppy furry. Colouring in all your poppies. And then you've got a lovely braided hair there. Again, a blank canvas for doing your skin tones. And if you want to add a bit of colour to her eyes. Beautiful. Pussy willow furry. I have no idea what they are, but again, such a beautiful, delicate picture. But here you can you can practice your reflections. You know, you when you see that your sun coming through the clouds and they give off that beautiful like <coughs> reflection. Um, they're absolutely amazing illustrations. The river furry. Again, 
you've got this beautiful water surrounding with your fish coming out so again you could practice your water colour in there and making that look realistic and then you've got all your beautiful different colours of your fish no idea what type of fish they are these kind of striking me more as a merman than anything else but again lovely chiselling you'd be able to do a lot of contouring with your shadow in there make him quite realistic the rose hips furry again she's got your translucent wings beautiful curly hair good for doing that making your hair look like you've got your motion with your colors I love the at the minute the gray scales are my favorite to color the snow furry and get all your nice little pastel snowy wintry colours out here and get some nice wintry bring out the cold through your colouring beautiful and then the summer wind furry again she's got some lovely butterflies and the wildflowers down here at the bottom lovely braided hair and then the last illustration is the water lily furry absolutely beautiful just reminds me of the lotus flower i'm obsessed with lotus flowers but it's an absolutely beautiful image to finish this wonderful book with and then you're onto your back page where you've got your offers if you decide to subscribe the only good thing about describing it subscribing as well is the fact that you can get your editions a bit earlier so you can get coloring them get excited because you'll get them before the shops do Fortunately, I've not subscribed to these yet because I'm a bit picky with what I colour. So I kind of, at the minute, I don't subscribe, but I'm considering doing because the last three copies have been really, really good that I've actually bought. And there you've got your back cover again. And then it just says that it's published by Anthem's Publishing. But again, what another beautiful, beautiful uh, magazine that's come out. Um, I will be colouring one of these uh, and I will video it. So, again, get down to the shops now and get this edition. Or, again, go to the back page and have a look. Look at my video and get go to our Anthem Publishings and subscribe. They, they always have deals on. I think at the Christmas one, the annual special, that actually had a set of pencils free with the subscription. So, you can get some good deals from subscribing. Um, but I hope you like my review and I hope I showed you the pictures um, and give you some little ideas um, I'm going to be so excited I'm actually going to start colouring this now so look out for my next video and make sure you subscribe to my channel and then you see when I do post things on there but thank you very much speak soon